All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday. It means we're using DDDs, and hopefully everything goes well. Uh, I, I, I shit you not, I've been dueling over and over and over and over and over and over, and of course it's Monarchs. And of course it's fucking Monarchs. Like, if he locks me out of my goddamn extra deck, I'm pretty much done. So, uh, and that's exactly how I feel when dueling against Monarchs. It seemed like he didn't open up fantastically, but it's just like, fucking Monarchs. Fucking Monarchs. This is exactly how I feel when I see this deck. <laughs> Uh, like, lock me out of my extra deck, and I'm fucked. Like, that, that's how I feel with this deck. Uh, I've been dueling over and over and over, and I just, I can't, I can't, people. I suck with the deck. I'm, I'm garbage with the deck. I, I took suggestions. I made, I made changes, and I still, I just fucking suck. This hand's not bad. It's really not. It's just not fantastic either, so, uh, we'll just go ahead and put you two into that, and maybe with a, a Solemn Strike and a Vanny's Emptiness, we might be able to fucking do something. I can pit something from my hand, right? For Lamia? This card is in your hand or graveyard. You can send one DDD Dark Contra card from your hand or face up on the field. Some that. And you know what? I think I would rather have uh, Siegfried on the field and block all them spells and traps than just sit here with the Oracle King when I have no life point gain. Yeah, you're both 28 beaters, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I really don't need another Orthros right now. So being able to summon back Lamia and go into that Siegfried, that first turn Siegfried plus Vanities plus fucking Solomon. Like, I got the plays right now. You guys might have seen it if you're subscribed to uh, Stanzi. Uh, he did a video with fucking Siegfried plus Vanities. Like, whoo! And I got the plays right now. So, you know, that's not bad. If I can go ahead. I'm just glad he didn't open up the tits and lock me out of my extra deck. If he would have done that, that would have been game. Like, there's no way. There's no there's no fucking way that DDDs can duel without their fucking extra deck. So, yep. <laughs> So he's just going to go ahead and show me uh, Caius, uh, and then get his search on. I mean, that would be a pretty good negate, I must say. That would be a pretty good negate. I know he has a Caius. I have the Psalm Strike, I have the Vanities. I think I might go ahead and negate, because I know he's going to start searching for Pantheism and all that shit. Now, if I get Regeki, then fuck me, but uh, I think this is a pretty good play. Like, that, that's pretty much how I feel right now. And then we'll just go ahead and flip up that vanity, so uh, no special summoning, sir. And then he'll put it back, Monster Storm 4, to be your monster. Summon Caius and then banish my shit, and I'll just be like, fuck. Woo! I did it! Ah, oh, yes! Yes, alright, that's finally a good duel. We're gonna keep this one. Alright, you gotta get another duel. Bear back. Ah, oh, fucking Marks. Like I said, I swear to fucking god, fucking Marks. <laughs> Uh, uh, this hand's not fantastic, but it's not bad either. Freaking Leonidas doesn't do much. Uh, I think I cut him down to two, I think, because I get him, and he's good, but then he's not fantastic. Like, he's not a big combo piece, so I can understand why you would cut him down to two. The life point burn doesn't really matter, you know? It's not as bad as people think. Oh my god. I, I have been dueling against Blue Eyes all fucking day, and I've been losing either because I misplay or they just get the tit. So let's just see how it goes, like... Like, alright, well, I'm already gonna be facing a fucking first turn 3,000 beater, and this deck fucking just, I can't, it can't, like, sometimes I cannot even fucking handle, I can't, you know, like, holy shit. <laughs> like, first turn 3,000 beater, I am not about that life, I really am not. Uh, I might just go ahead and take the duel slow, and actually, start, wow, wait, you didn't go into your 3,000 beater? Like, <laughs> really, nigga? Uh, I was thinking about, uh getting uh uh kepler and then kepler getting my trap card because at least my trap card will give me that that boost in attack so that might be actually pretty good but now i'm not even sure i'm really not sure uh i mean i have plays but they're not fantastic right now i think i might do that kepler play though uh i do have some things that i wouldn't mind pitching and just making sure he's in check next turn which isn't it's not the greatest play but it's not fantastic either uh, I do have the Newton, so that's fine, too. Uh, I can go ahead and summon you, then fuse with you. No. Summon you, send you, get you back. No. No, I might have a better play. Alright, I can get Slime. Fuse Slime with Leonidas. Special summon, uh, what's-her-face. Banish... Uh, a use slime effect. Special summon uh, uh, Copernicus. Copernicus can send Kepler. Kepler will be in the great back. I can use Newton. Pitch Newton. Get back Kepler. Pit yeah, I can do that play. That play. That's a much more aggressive play. It will handle the freaking white spirit. And I can get exactly what I want. So, uh, 
uh, like I said, I do I do not need two Leonidas. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and take her. There's really no point in busting out that 3,000 meter guy. So we'll go ahead and special summon that. Hopefully I'm doing this right, because I know you guys are going to crucify me in the fucking comment section like you always fucking do. Like, I get it. I'm fucking terrible with this deck. I get it. I fucking get it. No, I already messed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, fuck. I was like, I already messed up. Like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm okay. I'm okay. Whew. I was like, oh, please don't tell me I already messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and recover. Go ahead and get me you. I may probably take some damage next turn, but it seems like I'll be okay. As long as this is still on the field. And, uh, no, 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 no. Give me I don't want to return to DD. That, that would be, that would be terrible. That would be, like, fucking, like, oh my god, no. Uh, I said I probably could have got my fusion card, but I'm still okay right now. I got, I got something to beat over his blue eyes, and I got my precautionary card, so. I'm okay for right now. For right now. Uh. I said the fusion card might have been pretty good, so I can go ahead and fuse. I probably could have done something with this, these two as well. If I would have used my normal summon, but I kind of want this dark contract with the witch card. Now, if he's going to have fucking honest, I'm going to fucking off myself right now. Because uh, I've been losing the blue eyes all fucking day. Like, all fucking day. Uh, this is literally my third time dueling blue eyes. You haven't seen any of it, but God, just... Of course, and he's just going to tag out for blue eyes. No, I don't want to continue my replay. That's fine. Shit. <laughs> I was hoping to go ahead and kill him and, uh, and do that, but nope. Now, let me guess, you're just going to go ahead and summon back Spirit over and over again and banish all my shit. Because that's exactly what happened in, in, a, in a, one of the duels. It literally did. Like, I, 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 he spared, banished me, then he summoned another Spirit. Because Spirit, I did not know. It's not once per turn. It's really not. It's just when it's summoned, period. It's no more summon. You get to target a background and banish it. So, I, he banished my fucking... I think it was the same setup. I think I had Dark Contract and I had this. And he was like, summon Spirit. You know, and I was like, fine, I'll just go ahead and pop you so you can't save him. And he's like, special summon another spirit, banish this. And I'm like, fuck. You know, and I just, I got destroyed. I got fucking wrecked. Oh, he's playing the fucking Felgrand deck cards too. Like, oh my god, fuck me. <laughs> just fuck me. Alright, uh, if you're going to go ahead and use your normal summon for that, then I will go ahead and destroy a card. So, uh, Orthros is pretty good. And special summon that, so uh, I'll just go ahead and pop people ice. And then you'll just be like, some of my blue eyes back. Like, oh, well, fuck me. Fuck me. Heart. <laughs> like, uh, the blue eyes have so many revival cards. That's gospel. It's so rich Christ. It's like, I can get rid of the blue eyes. I'm still going to get fucked, so it doesn't really matter. But oh, I'm hoping that if I get rid of the blue eyes, I'll be okay. On, it looks like I'm okay. During his standby phase, I think his shit will still uh, come. No. No. I'll gain them life points. All good. It's all good to me. So I think during your standby phase, this dragon summons back one of your dragons from the graveyard. So I believe you'll be... So summoning that, uh, that fuck. <laughs> that fuck, yep, 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 yep. You'll definitely be summoning that fuck. And I'm not about that fuck, but I'm about, uh, you're summoning that fuck. <laughs> yep, that's fine. You can have that. <laughs> huh. That's exactly how I feel about that fucking card. Like, I fucking hate this card. Uh, so I can go ahead and summon and then do that, or I can go ahead and grab my card back. And you know what? I think, despite what my opponent's plays are right now, I would totally love to get another one of this since he banished it. Another one. No, no. I, I, I was like, please don't fuck up and click the wrong shit. Like, that would just be terrible. No. Let's go ahead and give me that. And then I guess I'll go ahead and search for... I'm not really planning on overextending this turn, so it wouldn't be terrible, because it seems like I might be able to handle everything. It wouldn't be terrible to get a monster that I don't mind pitching and then doing future plays with, so uh, getting Burfermite wouldn't be terrible. Or I can get Lamia, then I can send absolutely fucking nothing, like, because these guys don't go to the graveyard. I would say it'd been cool to summon uh, Siegfried, but I don't think I can, because I can't send them. I kind of want to keep this, I kind of want to keep this, uh, and I can't send them, and I want this, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get Burfermont. Yeah. Grab Burfermont, and then I can spot pop him later. Yeah. So I just uh, go ahead and kill your white spirit, because I don't want you to have him. I don't really care about the Ancient Stone. The Ancient Stone ain't doing shit. You're going to hop out of the way for another Blue Eyes? Yep, looks like it. So, another Blue Eyes. And there's really no point in me killing any of your plays right now. You can go ahead and synchro summon into that. But then he can't really do anything to me next turn. But then that 3,000 beater, though. 
Like, he can synchro summon with these two, and I want them. I don't want to kill him because he'll just get a blue eyes during the end phase, and I want that because he'll just summon another spirit. Like, no, I'll just leave it alone for right now. Like I said I might just go ahead and spot pop blue eyes now. I, I don't care about white stone. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Pop the blue eyes. I'm seriously thinking, like, I'm jogging my fucking brain right now, just trying to think of fucking plays, and I know he'll be able to just do more plays next turn. Like, that's the real shit thing, is that he'll still have fucking plays for days. Like, maybe I should put this fucking guy in my goddamn Blue Eyes deck, because just sending him to the graveyard, summoning a dragon there in stand by state, summoning a fucking spirit, banishing a back rail, like, damn, that's so good. It's like, fuck. Okay, it looks like he's slowing down, which is great. That's exactly what I need. Uh, this card definitely helps, you know. It's 3,000 beaters, the snuggles is real, but having that spot popping, like Valkyrie, just woo! Oh, and he quit. Yes! I was, about to, I was about to do some plays next turn, I really was. It just sucks that I have all these fucking fuckers sitting here doing nothing. They have like zero defense, zero defense, a thousand attack, and he's like, you're not killing them? Like, fuck, they're just crowding on my field with slaves. Like, I don't even know what I would fucking do. Like, I don't know. Be right back. Alright, I've been getting a little bit lucky. I've been getting a little bit lucky, so let's go. <laughs> The plays have been decent, decent, I must say, you know, just not absolute ass, I didn't fuck up that play, that is, think planning in my head. Pop Duality will reveal it, oh, and of course it's a fucking remove from play deck, so, fuck me, fuck me. Go ahead and grab that defager, like I said, whenever I do against a remove from play deck, they always get the defager. What, you didn't get the defager? Then I'm assuming you have macro, like, like I said, it's just like, fuck, 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 fuckity, fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, soul absorption. Oh yeah, you definitely have the macro. That's macro right there. That's macro right fucking there, people. That is macro. Like, if I've never seen fucking macro in my goddamn motherfucking life, that is macro right there. Oh my god. So, <laughs> uh, I think I might just take the dual flow. There's really no point in me overextending too much. There's really not. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Kepler, uh... Because the, the, there would be no reason, especially when you're playing DDs against DDD, uh, there's no reason why you wouldn't go ahead and grab the... Did I discard this? Uh, you can send one dark card to your hand to the graveyard. Fuck my ass. Of course it has to be graveyard. Of course it has to be graveyard. So I'm just going to try to play it cool. I'm going to try to play it cool. And it's be like, hey, you know, the, you don't have to flip that macro on me, dog. It's all good, and then I'll play it, and then he'll probably just be like, all right, chain macro. Because there's no reason why you wouldn't grab that defeasure if you didn't have macro, right? Makes sense, right? Am I correct? I mean, look at it. Soul, uh, fucking DD Survivor, Soul Absorption, this is obviously a fucking macro. Like, it wouldn't, his plays wouldn't make sense if it wasn't, so fuck me. That, that's, that, that, that's what uh, everything comes down to. Fuck me. So I guess I'll grab that Soil Slime. And as soon as I activate that Star Slime, he'll just be like, macro? And I'll just be like, fuck me. Uh, this guy, someone in this guy would be great. Like, I, I, it'd be nice to have her, but I kind of have uh, Leonidas. I'm going to fuse with Copernicus, so. So I'm this 3,000 beater guy that during my standby fights, like, if he can't get rid of my shit. Oh, never mind, it has to be Leonidas. If he can't get rid of my shit, it seems like it might not be fucking macro. And that seems awesome if it's not. <laughs> it seems like, a, what is it, D-Prison? Like, what is it? Yeah, I was like, what is it, D-Prison? Yep, it was D-Prison. <laughs> That's fine. At least it wasn't macro. So wait, you didn't grab fucking D-Fisher. You didn't have any other way method of banishing. You didn't grab your fucking shit. That's crazy. That's crazy, people. That's crazy. That's fine. I said, I'd rather, much rather have been D-Prison than fucking uh, macro. Like, fuck me if it's macro. I'm so scared that he'll just fucking get number generator and get macro. I'll fucking kill myself. Oh, I should activate this. Oops. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm so concerned with the fucking... Oh, my God. Fuck me. Fuck me. More back row. More back row. Another Kepler. Ah, there's fucking macro! Ah, there it is! Ah, I, could, of course, couldn't negate it with Solemn Morning, but no. It's like... Yes, I would love to activate the fucking card effect. Like, fuck macro. Like, come on. Uh, so, I, it really doesn't matter if I pitch, because I can always just get everybody back, so. Fuck your macro. Like, holy shit. Fuck you, number generator. Fuck you hard. Fuck you. Just pondu all... Oh, there's D-Fisher. Pondu a uh, fucking macro. There it is. Like, of course. Like, no. Fuck you. Fuck you in the ass. Like, no. No macro. So, my fucking thoughts were misguided, and then they were completely guided. Like, that, that's wonderful. Uh... 
The only question is if he's gonna fucking hit me with another one. Like, and by another one, I mean another fucking, uh, uh, solemn. I mean, D fish, D prison. Because that would suck. That would suck. Hard. Uh, I can go ahead and bust out my, another 3,000 meter guy to fucking, is it just your opponent or all? Once per turn during your stuff phase, you can destroy all, all cards in each player's spell and trap card zone. Holy shit, that would suck. That, but at least it would put, pretty much put him out of the duel. It definitely would. So I can go ahead and summon, get another one with that just by summoning Kepler, getting my, uh, 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 getting my, fuck, my swamp, get my swamp and then fuse him with swamp. Like, please, don't be another D-Prison, like, because I, I can't take all this fucking damage. If, if it's another D-Prison, then I will definitely have to. Uh, use fucking Newton and pitch and get really nice back because I'm going to be getting burned for way too much fucking damage. So I will be fusing. It might be good just to go ahead and go into this because if it's a deep prison, then fuck it. You know? But if it's not, then I get, I get to keep my Oracle King and get all the life ones. So yeah, I'm just going to go into King. I'll go ahead and fuse the monster zone. And in the graveyard, I don't mind banishing Copernicus right now. That's fine. You can get into life points. You can have that anywhere I'm at it right now. Never mind, it's fiendish fucking chain. It's fiendish fucking chain. Are you fucking shitting me? How does this man keep on getting every single card that he fucking needs? Like, this shit is pissing me off. It's actually pissing me off. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna have to, uh, recover. And, and what I'm gonna be recovering is, uh, actually Leonidas, because I'm gonna be taking so much damage, because now since my fucking shit fiendish chain, like, holy shit. Ah. Uh, I could special summon, but I think I'm going to hold on to it just in case I want to go ahead and do this play. But it's just like, god fucking damn it, Bobby. Like, oh, macro, I got it. Like, of course, of course, fucking number generator. Oh, here we go, Fiendish Chain. Like, of course, like, this duel is annoying. It's not, it's, it's just annoying. Like, fuck you, number generator. Fuck you, defreezer. Fuck you, macro. Like, fuck this whole situation. Wow, he actually attributed. I can special summon this card from your hand by removing play one face up monster you control. If you do, return... If you do, return the removed from playing monster to the field during your next standby phase. During your phase, this card was banished while face up on your side of the field. This turn, you can special summon this card. Okay. That's fine. So you're going to go ahead and banish him, special summon him, and then he'll come back during the end phase? Like, you can have that. That ain't what I'm not at right now. Yeah, do you survive? will come, of course, come back. And so now since you don't have any back rows, really no threat anymore, so... Yep. So DD versus DDD, just all the D. Like you can't, you can't have enough D right now. No. And then I'll go ahead and special summon you. I'm not taking that goddamn damage. I gave that back, and I don't take any damage for the rest of these. So that's not bad. <laughs> and during, if you do return the removal play monster during the next time phase, but it's already back, so that doesn't do anything. <laughs> And now, I do have some plays for the days. Like, holy shit. Like, this man let up on me, and I can go to town on his ass. Like, holy shit. So, definitely one of the first things I want to do is uh, probably fusion summon. And I would love to go ahead and go into, uh... I probably can, actually. I can, yeah. Let's go ahead and play my searcher card, and I can just search for, uh... Uh, Lamia. Search for Lamia. Uh, I don't plan on doing much of anything else, so I guess I'll just go ahead and normal summon it. Synchro summon it into, uh, yeah, fuck it, just normal summon. Go into Siegfried. With you and you. And then I can just go ahead and fuse and summon. Uh, oh, I can snatch his shit up. Oh, turn to discard the kind of attack. You can target one other DD contract you control. Return it to the hand, and if you do, equip one face-up monster, and then this card gains the attack. That's not bad, but I really don't need it right now, so I guess I'll just go into another Oracle King, and I will use you and you. Summon you. Uh, that's fine. Oh, I could have negated that. I could have negated it. I totally forgot I could have negated that. That's fine. You can have that thing in what I'm at. So, let's just go ahead and fuck him up. Like, why not, right? 
Hopefully this set card is not something to fuck me up, but I assume that it's like maybe like a D scout plan or something like that. Like, I don't know. So you attack, you attack. Like, I am back in control of this duel. Fucking macro though. <laughs> Thank God that it wasn't first turn macro and he didn't flip it up because I'm so glad. I love you, Dark Contract with the Witch. Macro fucking face. All right. I was like, eh, it could be that too. And uh, yeah, we're golden. Like, holy shit. Like, he's literally top decking. Even top decking Regeki. He's with, dealing with 3,000 beaters during his turn. Like, he's just... Pretty much fucked. Like, no. <laughs> Fuck you, number generator. <laughs> Fucking reveal pot, reveal doofish here. There's macro, there's gold socks. Like, no. Fuck you. Fuck number generator. Go. Gate. Go away. That's game. I win. Scoop. Thank you. Woo! I beat, I beat DD with my DDD. <laughs> Even with macro. <laughs> Thank you, dark contract. I would have lost if he would have gone off that macro because I all my shit involves the graveyard. Like, holy shit. Like, I would have to fucking... No, I might have been able to do something, because like at least... And he didn't summon any real beater, so I probably could have just summoned Kepler's Search for Swamp and then Fuse. Because that doesn't involve my graveyard. I don't have to send any more shit to graveyard, so I'm going to beat her and just... And with the town as ass, so I might have still won, but still. Like, oh my god, just real fun. I, saw, I swear to god, when he hit pot and he revealed Doofish, I thought he was going to grab it, but he didn't. Like, I thought... That, I was like, okay, he had macro, but he didn't. Uh, we'll get one more duel. We're back. Alright, definitely the last duel, because uh, this deck, every time I use it, I get a heart attack. Like, I think I got maybe like one or two more weeks before this deck's not on daily duels anymore, and I can just fucking just relax, because holy shit, so fucking stressed. Like, you don't even know. You don't even fucking know, people. You don't even fucking know how stressed I am when I play this goddamn deck. Like, I feel like I'm gonna fuck up, I feel like I'm gonna misplay. Uh, uh... Uh, once again, I just love leaving Kepler out there, but I'm going to actually leave Kepler out there. Because <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm i going to get the, my Savior card, one of my favorite cards in this deck. That fucking, uh, that witch. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and fuse into What's-Her-Face. And as long as these co as long as my cards are okay on the field, then I should be fine. So, yep, we're going to fuse you. I actually got Necro Slime, so that's pretty good. And uh, I'll just leave it like that. I don't use Fuse with Slime. I don't use Special Summon with Slime. I'm okay for right now. So, so I could go into Big Eye. Really, just Special Summon Newton, but I'm okay with that too. Even if he actually gets rid of my shit, I could just get it right back. So it's not terrible. Okay. Upstart. I have Dark Contract, so I would, I would be totally fine with pitching Necro Slime to Spot Pop. <laughs> That's why I love this card so fucking much. The, the, the Thousand Gain's nice, and Spot Popping's nice. Kepler may have zero, but he'll at least have a thousand when you try to kill him. And please come out to Kepler with his monster with a thousand attack or less. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Just attack? Like, nah, I can make that sweet crash. <laughs> oh my god, no, it's fucking Mad Destructors. No. No, not the back row. Not the back row, no. I'm not about that life. There's so much fucking back row. Holy shit, like... It's fine. There's nothing I can... I can oh, I guess I can go ahead and activate this and take 500 less fine but holy shit no so hopefully he doesn't set too much back row but just please set that one card please i know you're gonna set more but please for the love of fucking christ do not set back row on top of back row on top of back row on top of back row i don't want to do it against my distractors i want to cry right now like oh, i hate my distractors so much like they're so fucking good especially against this deck you know set 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 like oh my god all right i'm gonna go ahead and activate Contract and then spot pop the middle one because I'm still like nope no people's waiver nice god damn it so so <laughs> so I'm getting all them life points and you know what I totally don't mind activating dark contract again and then pitching and then try to pop it back another back row back row I don't care about fucking Burfamot at all like fuck it so I'll pop that one like please negate him if you want to it really doesn't matter if you want to tribute to negate oh, fuck. okay well all right now I know all of his back row. It's fine, and of course I popped the wrong fucking one, I could, of course I can still pop that next turn. Uh, so I can go ahead and search, and I think, you know what, going to Siegfried might not be terrible. It really might not. Uh, uh, so I can go ahead and pitch and get one of my cards back, but I really don't need anything. Yeah, so. I'm going to go ahead and get me Night Howling. So my Burfermont. Burfermont, make me level 4, and I'll just go into Siegfried. I'm so mad that I popped the wrong card, though. Like, oh my god, I don't care about fucking Tornado, I can negate that. But missing and not getting the fucking, uh, the, the Tempest just fucking sucks. Just like, god damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Alright, uh, 
when it becomes that level. I, I was like, is it increasing or do I become that level? I become that level. So make myself four and we will just simply go into sick creep and I know he's going to try to summon a magic specter and fuck me up. Like I might as well just go off right now and do all my plays right now because I'm going to get fucked up either way. So hold up to that play. There's no reason to pitch that. I really don't need that. I might as well just go ahead and fuse. Yeah, that would be a pretty good choice. Go ahead and just fuse right now. So, Necro Slime. No. I'll go ahead and go into another Oracle by Banishing. I don't need another. I don't need Night Howling. So, two beaters is pretty good. Uh, you can summon you, because that doesn't do anything for me. And uh, I can activate ne Necro Slime's on once per turn? Yeah, it's once per turn. You can only use this effect in uh, Necro Slime once per turn. That's what I thought. So. Then there's at least 56 right there, but it's just if he starts getting his magic specters on. Like if he summons a magic specter, if he summons a magic specter, I said you not. I'm gonna go ahead and activate Dark Contract and pop his uh his his spell trap. That way, if whatever spell or trap he activates, I can negate with Siegfried without worrying about getting fucked up. Like, ah, uh, so much thinking. I'm trying to have a fucking brain blast over here. Like I don't mind pitching fucking Newton to pop that because I know exactly what it is. It's obviously Tempest. I, I popped the wrong fucking guard. Like, if I would have popped Tempest and he'd been like, alright, we'll chain Tornado and vanish and then banish him, whatever, I don't care. But I wanted to get rid of that Tempest so bad. Yes! 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 Oh my god, that was. Whew! I love you so much, fucking witch. Holy shit, you, you saved my ass all day. All fucking day. <laughs> Just like, witch, pop that one. Draw, witch, pop that one. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, holy shit, like. I'm not running the trap stun one because the person who was helping me in the deck didn't suggest it, but I probably should. Like, just because I can go ahead and search that and put the trap stun card one on them. But holy shit. Because <laughs> I'm getting wrecked by background. I'm running two twin searches, didn't get it at all in any of these duels, and just wow. But, alright, so, as you can see, Newton. I didn't get to use Orthros, but uh, Orthros is kind of a cute play, so if you open up with uh, Copernicus or and Orthros, you can go summon. Uh, uh, Copernicus, send uh, slime, banish slime, spam in Orthros, or when you take damage, press them in Orthros, uh, and you, ha you have a couple of level fours, and then just bam, there's Sigfrey right there. So, well, I'm not the greatest fan of Orthros. I'm not sure what I'm to put him at because he kind of has synergy with uh, with uh, with uh, uh, Copernicus. So meh, but I'm not sure how I feel about him so far. Uh, like I said, Burfamot, I, I'm an idiot. I, I, told if, I thought, for some reason, I thought that you had to Xyz summon, and I don't really like the Xyz guy, so I was like, well, what's the point? I make him another monster level 4, and I have to I Xyz. Like, I don't like the Xyz monster, but I was like, duh, you can just not howling summon Burfamot, and Burfamot make him 4, bam, there's Sigfrey right there. I'm well, trying to go through the Lamia route, and it's fucking stupid. I mean, there's Lamia still in here, she's putting that work, but I don't need fucking 3. Like, I dropped her down to 1, because you only need 1, 1 Burfamot. Uh, so, I'm not sure. I'm running 2, uh... Newton, which seems okay. Like, Newton, Newton's here. Uh, he's not the greatest card, but he's not terrible. I like that he can get DDD cards and Dark Contracts on the graveyard, so that's pretty good. So I'll probably keep Newton at two. And I might, I might. Because uh, the Orthro play just seems so situational, and it seems like if I'm going to exploit it, I might as well exploit it with the number generator, because I'm running three Copernicus, and I'm running, you know, Foolish and one for an all those cards. So, if I'm going to exploit the Orthros, it seems like it'd be better if I just exploit the number generator, have Orthros at 1, get the number generator, always have in my hand, just go Copernicus, send Slime, Banish, Slime, summon Orthros, bam, right there. There's, uh, there's Siegfried right there. And uh, maybe I can go ahead and put one of the Trapstone cards, so I'll probably make the changes. Like I said, this deck only has like 2 or 3, no, not 2 or 3, 1 or 2 more weeks on Daily Duels before the lineup. If you guys want Daily Duels for another month, another one, then uh, you guys can vote for it, but I'm not sure. And I just want to make sure that I'm doing deck justice and... Uh, when it comes to the deck profile that I'm not a complete dumbass and get a shit ton of dislikes for just being bad with DVD. It's like, I apologize. I mean, I won the duel, so that's good, but I, I'm just, sometimes I fuck up. This deck takes a lot of skill. This is not just, you know, your mother's everyday deck and the skill is trash. Like, this is, this is probably arguably the most skillful deck in all of the Yu-Gi-Oh. There's just so many things to do. The deck can Synchro Summon, XC Summon, Synchro Summon, Fusion Summon, XC Summon, Special Summon, uh, everything. From the graveyard, they hit the hand, the, the, the spells, the searching, the life point damage, uh, and calculating how much you're going to take. It's just everything. It's just wow. All right. But anyway, I'm done. So, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead. But I think I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm, I think I'm okay. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I will see you guys tomorrow playing in Fluff, joined by the tag partner. Uh, like I said, only a couple more weeks before we get the new lineup. It's time just going by so fast. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.